Hey, I'm the Trigger Rich Von Trigger. Great to have you back with us here on this Monday night. And tonight we're going to be talking about podcasting, but not just podcasting. We're going to be talking about the podcast producer. Often we spend time talking about the talent, the expertise of the person on microphone or the software, but what about the person that really makes it really, really all work behind the camera, behind the microphone? We're going to get in that here tonight. Tonight, Pat Laurie is with us. She's a storyteller by nature. Uh, she's been writing and producing stories for her entire career. She's got her start in TV news, then transitioned to syndicated tech shows, opened up her own video production company in 1996, and never looked back. How can you move people to act, change, behave differently, or buy a product from you? It's all about the story and how you tell the story. That's what she's an expert in. That's what she loves to talk about. And she also has podcasts, streaming content shows. She coaches people. She does it all. She's a public speaker. And Pat, welcome to the show tonight. Oh, thank you, Rich. I feel like you're talking about someone else. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, so, it's a busy life. It's a busy life, right? It is a busy life, but you do it so darn well. And you've been doing this for a while. 1996, huh? <laughs> You're making me feel old now. No, no, no. Yes, no. <laughs> I literally was on television. Actually, I've been doing it since 1990, to be honest with you. My, my first television reporting job was in 1990. I opened up my video production company in 1996. So yeah, before the internet was even developed. <laughs> uh, I was a little tear in your eye right there. It was just growing and growing. I, no, but that... it, it was cool because when I started out in TV, um, I was a I was a television reporter, but I also was a producer, a writer, a videographer, and an editor. So I did everything. I had my hand in everything when I started out. So here we are now, post pandemic, and everyone's jumping online. They're doing their streaming podcasts, like we're doing. They're doing their TV shows. They're doing their audio shows, and they are trying to do it all by themselves, aren't they? You know they are, and um, you know if you have some training, you can do it. I mean, for me, I can do all of those roles. Do I want to be doing all those roles? No, but, you know, I am a producer by trade. I've always been a producer, so I can easily switch into the host role or I can, you know, be on the sidelines behind the scenes uh, working the show. But it is possible to do all of those roles now if you well, know what you're doing, if you have the training, if you have the expertise. Well, and the tools have gotten either. Again, uh like I've got 36 you. years in this crazy business. I've got 36 years behind the microphone or camera, whatever. The industry has radically changed from massive big knobs you would turn and the sliders and the faders and everything we had to do. Now you can have a digital board right in front of you and you have your own home studio. That's really seamless to use, isn't it? It is. And so I started doing my own show in the pandemic. Um, you know, using one of these platforms, a restream platform is what I chose to use, even though there's a, you know, a couple dozen of them out there, uh, because it was intuitively easy to do that. You know, I know exactly how to put a television show together because I have, I produce a 30 minute television show even now. So I know what goes into it. I know the ingredients for a good television show or for a good live streaming show, or for whatever it is. And it doesn't have to be 30 minutes. It could be five minutes. But you have to stick with the, you know, the tried and true ingredients to get that show going. And, and it looks great. And it's free. I mean, it's almost free. I guess you can use the free version of it, but I have yes. the paid version of it. But yeah. So it's like, I would tell people all the time, you know, this is your free production studio. This is your free television station, you know? Go well, I mean, it. it's got the lower thirds. It's got the transitions. Oh They've now added newer, newer things to restream. That happens to be the platform I use a lot as well. But let's go to the producer side. We do spend a lot of time talking about the microphone, the persona, how to come alive. But the producer often is the secret sauce to everything. Now, Absolutely. one of the questions I want to ask you is, host to producer, there does have to be a symbiotic, fun, secure relationship there, doesn't there? Oh, you mean for, yeah, the producer and, and with post-production or the host, the host. The host, that host and producer oh, yeah, yeah, the host. is well, so absolutely. vital. Uh, they have to work together, sure, because, you know, they have each other's backs, really. I mean, you know, the host, foreseeable, like I, I end up doing all of the roles, but in a traditional company, yep. I like to do things differently. But usually there's a host and there's a producer and the host is just that, hosting the show, 
listening and interviewing uh, the the guest and listening to the answers and feeding off of the answers and you know being the host carrying the person through the show but how do you even get there so the job of a producer and i have like written down all these things because i'm like Phew. it's a long I, list people don't realize how much producers the, do the person that gets things done it's it's the doer in the and i'm not putting the, the host down but the producer a good producer is the success behind everything